Recently, my wife mentioned that it was a little too dark in the den. And so she wanted to get a lamp so she can go from this to this. Now, before we purchased this lamp, she had seen one at Ikea that she liked, but we didn't buy it. And we live in Western North Carolina and it's pretty far to get to an Ikea. So she found this at the local Target. Room essentials, floor lamp. And if you take a close look at the box, it tells you it has a white shade, an on and off foot switch, uh, bulbs aren't included, and I don't see anywhere where it tells you how tall the darn thing is. So you look on the side of the box, and that has even less information on it. The top of the box has absolutely no information on it. And then the back of the box is like the front of the box. And turning the box over reveals that you can call Target to get information on this product. It wasn't until I finally stood and looked at the box again that I noticed some really tiny writing in one corner of it. And there it is. As we zoom in, you see that it is 44 inches tall. And to show you how small it is, there's a picture of my finger next to that type. Why they don't make this bigger is beyond me. But now let's move on to the next part, assembling this lamp. After opening the box, you get a set of instructions, three poles, a foot switch, polarized plug. The center pole has two light bulb holders. Then you have the frame and the shade itself. Uh, like it said on the box, bulbs aren't included, so you have to supply your own. I would recommend getting LED as they generate very little heat and provide lots of light. First thing we do is lay out the pieces of pipe and you see that the bottom one will thread into the top one. And what you want to do is twist on the bottom one because the coil will not twist because it's just free in there. So if you twist the top half of it, you're going to end up winding up the coil and that's not good for that cable. Be careful with screwing it on because it somewhat doesn't catch and you might cross thread if you're not careful. So what I do is I back off until I feel it catch then I go forward and tighten it until it's firm. It doesn't need to be super tight because it's not bearing a lot of weight. Now we move to the top of the second section and you'll notice that the threads are on the inside of the pipe. We grab the remaining section, remove the protective sleeve and just screw it on. You want to get it snug, not too tight. And you'll notice that in all of this, we're not using any tools, except for our hands. So here's the paper shade. It extends up and down. Be careful because it is paper, so it can rip very easy. There's a notch at the bottom of the base which looks like it should just allow the bottom of the screw on the mounting pole to slide right in. Also make sure that you get your cable threaded underneath the shade before you do this. It just makes things a little easier for you. So here we go, we're trying to slide it in. And apparently that's too wide. The screw on this is too wide for that cutout. Go figure, why is there a cutout then? So what you're going to end up having to do is you're going to actually just drop the screw through that hole and then bring up the wing nut and tighten it. Now you'll note that I had some difficulty doing this uh, with it standing up. Uh, one, I was only using one hand because the other hand was holding the camera. But two, it's just at a weird angle because the cable is bending. So what I found works better is just lay the pole on the floor and do it from the side.
Also with this, you just want to get it snug, not super tight, because you don't want to end up stripping it. When finally assembled, you should have three poles together and the shade sitting at the bottom. And of course, your cable is running underneath the shade. Now grab your two bulbs and attach them into the sockets. Once the bulbs are into their sockets, one socket is facing up, one is facing down, you want to get like 15 watt LEDs or less. You want to now reach down, grab the shade by the frame, and slowly pull it up. You'll feel a lot of tension as, as you get towards the top of the pole, but just kind of, I did a little bouncy type of action just to loosen it up. Because again, if you come up really quick, you're going to rip the paper. Now the idea is to get the circle over the top of the pole and it should just snap in. Once in, this is what it looks like. And now you have a fully extended shade on the stand with the wire coming out from underneath and you're ready to move it to its appropriate location. Warning, if you have cats or dogs, this may not be the shade for you because they may, if they claw it, they're just going to shred this paper. Oh, forgot. You got to pull off the little protective cover off the polarized plug. So here's a before in the dark room. And here's what it looks like with the lamp on. Actually, it looks a lot better than you can see in this video. It's a nice, soft, 360-degree light that's given off. This unit was just under 20 bucks, and it works. It does the job. It lights up the room very nicely. It's uh, an easy assemble with no tools. Just be aware that you're dealing with fragile paper. But we would certainly buy this product for another room. If you found this video useful or helpful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching.